In this InDesign tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add another spread here in Adobe InDesign. Now, adding spreads or duplicating spreads is really easy, but what you need open is the Pages window. If we go to Window down to Pages, we'll see it pop open. I have it docked over here on the right-hand side. Now, I've got a page or a cover page, and then I've got a spread right here. If I click on any one of these pages and select it and right-click, I can see that I can insert pages, duplicate pages, etc. If I select this spread by holding Shift and clicking on both or holding Command or Control if you're on Windows and get them both selected, when I right-click now, I can actually duplicate that spread. Once I duplicate that spread, you can see I've got, I've got two now. And as I scroll up through my document, I've added another spread to my document. Now you can move these around easily. If you have them selected, I can click and drag this around and you'll see the little lines show where I can place these. So if I wanted to place it before this spread, I can just place it right there and it shifts it up. Now, another thing you can do here is to quickly duplicate pages or even spreads. If I have them both selected, hold option or alt and click and drag that's going to create a duplicate of the spread and allow you to place it wherever you want in your document. If you want it after this one, but before this one, just hold it over this white line that shows up right here, let go, and it places it right in between there. So now I've got a bunch of spreads here. I also have options up in the layout menu in pages where I can duplicate spreads as well. So same kind of thing right there. The other thing that you can do is if you don't want to actually duplicate, you can just add more pages. So at the very bottom of the pages window is a little plus icon and I can add a page. And then if I add another page that adds a spread. So I've got these two facing pages. Now that's an important uh, point as well, facing pages. If I go up to file down to document setup and when you first open a new document, what you want check marked in here is facing pages. If you don't have that check marked, it's going to create single pages. You won't actually have spreads. So make sure that when you start a new document or if you wanted to convert, let's say you wanted to convert this single spread document, you go to file document setup and then check mark facing pages. That's going to bring these pages together and put them in more of a spread lineup rather than uh, all individual pages all the way down through your document. That's how to quickly and easily add spreads to your InDesign documents.